guys, it's Ash and Trudy. Okay, so welcome to another Vlogmas episode. And this vlog is gonna be a little different. We're gonna do like a topic video. So the topic today that we're gonna discuss is balancing friendships and relationships. Oh, because wait, I thought you said you're gonna do another topic. You are worse no, though. Why this would we is do this? This is the topic. So um and oh basically me and Charity have been friends since we it's were too long. No, tell me. It's just too long. I think we were second Fourth grade. grade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think no. it was third grade though. Fourth. Are you sure? I was just learning cursive, so it had to be third. Okay, okay. It was third. Oh yeah. So anyway, yeah. So and yeah, but then in high school I left or whatever, but we still remained at friends or whatever yeah. throughout the whole year. And we've already talked about the story and Ash is being fake. Yeah, so this come back, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway. So <laughs> Um, basically, every time I come back to visit, she gets on my last nerve because first of all, we already have arguments and problems. <laughs> Second of all, You're dysfunctional. I talked about that in the um in the vlogmas video that you was into. Yeah, I and heard it because you were like, "This is our relationship," and you said you love me. I didn't know you love me, girl. Okay, anyway, come here. Listen. So anyway, so she gets on my nerves because she did it today too like she always feel that every time she comes over that she has to bring her freaking boyfriend and it's like i have no problem with omar like i love omar he's a cool bro-in-law or whatever but i'm like every time i come like because she's away from school so i get it she doesn't see yeah. him like that either yeah but at the same time like i don't live here so Every time she's always coming home on the weekends, or he's always going up there because they're obsessed with each other. So I'm like, when you come home, you can spend one day because I'm about to go to freaking Miami, Atlanta. Well, why do you Louisville. travel so much? Sit down somewhere, and then maybe no. I could come and do my visits. Like, Miami is my life. Okay? Literally, you put me back inside like a box, and you're like, well, you have to come see me from this time to this time on this day. And I'm like, well, my family wants to see me. Omar wants to see me. But my thing is with her, she doesn't communicate. She I do communicate. She I was texting you all day today. And listen, you didn't no, we can't talk back. over each other. Listen. Okay. If you, if to me, I'll talk first and then you can say your opinion. Okay. To me, if you would just communicate, because like you'll act like you're coming a lot of times. Maybe not this time, but she'll act like she's coming a lot of times. And she'll be like, she'll say, oh, okay, I'm coming or whatever. And then it gets like 11 o'clock. And then she either doesn't say at all that she's not coming no more. She just doesn't show up. And I'm like, stop doing that. If you're not coming, you're not coming. And today she made me mad because she was supposed to come at six or whatever. Time out. But listen. But did I communicate today though? Listen, she did not communicate. She communicated today, but what made me mad okay. today was she was like, can Omar come? It's 10 o'clock. My mom don't care if boys come over or whatever, but if boys come over, we had to sit downstairs. I'm like, I want to chill in my room, in my drawers. I want to do this video. Cause we were gonna talk about we were gonna talk about another topic at first. She and her I want to do <laughs> I want to do my video and I don't want to be sitting downstairs like I already gotta get up at five a.m. for work. So I'm like I'm like no and I'm like and why you're gonna see literally Omar graduates tomorrow. So I'm like she literally is leaving here tomorrow Shout and seeing you. him. So to me I feel like you need to learn how to balance and work on your communication skills because to me I'm a good friendship boy balancer. I never dish my friends. Oh, I always see who I need to see. I'll <laughs> I don't even know how to comment on that. So I, I won't. <laughs> and but I have some other friends that used to suck at this too, but I don't suck. No, she's just really controlling. Okay, and she wants I know it's my turn. She's really controlling and she literally wants me to just come right when she tells me to come and that's her problem. Like I'm more flexible and she's not and so that's what she needs to work on. And my communication skills were up to par today because I text you what? How many times? Wait, if I was if I was controlling and want you to come when I want to come at six o'clock when you told me you were gonna be in town, I would have been like, Where are you? Where are you? I didn't even say I'm nothing the whole day. All I kept saying was, Okay, okay. And I asked you one time, I said, I asked you one time, I said, Oh, where are you? It was like, Yes, girl, I'm driving. And I wasn't even asking to be annoying. I was asking because I need no my mama cook, first of all. And I You didn't make my point yet. I just remember it. Cause you don't even eat that. Cause I now don't. she's not eating carbs. It will I don't but eat anyway, carbs at a certain time. I eat carbs. Anyway, it don't matter what time of the day you eat it. Yes, it does. Okay, go ahead. Finish with the story. Yeah, so basically, like, everything that she's saying is pretty much bull crap because I do <laughs> balance them. And literally, as soon as I get in town, everyone's always like, where are you at? Where are you at? What are you doing? Like, I get it. Like, I don't want to hang out with me, too. So, I mean, I can't blame you for hitting my line. Like, I owe you something. Omar does the same thing, and so does my family. So I'm just like, well, dang. Like, how am I seriously going to sit here and balance everybody and make everybody happy and at the same time make sure I have me time? Like, 
aren't I most important in this whole entire me time? Situation? You had me time before you got up here. I my thing know. is, my thing is, on the move. I'm like the most awesome person at Balancing because it's like. <laughs> I literally, you say all this stuff, but I do so much more than you. Like, Talk I go you to, don't. Listen, you have a different life. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, how many times have you been to Georgia throughout this whole damn franchise? And time out, okay. though. Second no, 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 because I need to stop I right all there and say something. Here. No, because I have something to say about that. Because <laughs> guess what? The only time she came to Georgia was with her boyfriend. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all need to put this good camera. These people don't know why. Listen now. <laughs> me and Omar went to Georgia to go see Ashley. Literally, we got there with a, like, oh, which, where you at? What, where you at? Whatever. And you're with Jasmine? Jazz. She was with Jasmine at some club or something. No, we was at her. Um, Don't matter. She was somewhere. Some school. She wanted me. First she of was all, at the library, y'all, so she couldn't. She first of all, we was at school and we were freaking drunk, so we couldn't. Yeah, they were freaking and drunk, and she knew that I was coming. So why would you get? Why would you go to the movie? And and you know, I went to the movies because I was waiting for you to sober up. I got <laughs> out the movies and was like, okay, where you at? Let's hang out. And you're like, oh, I'm too drunk. I'm like, you know what? First of all, no. first of all, first of all, she. I, first of all, you went to Atlanta with Omar. Yeah, I see you. Of Omar. To see you. No, y'all went for your own date. Well, I he said that. Up. Up. You didn't even say that. Up. Okay, you're right. He did. Like, what's she talking about? <laughs> like, this is lies. But he set that up. Yeah, because he knew I wanted to see you. And we went to your birthday. Yes? Yeah. It was for Valentine's Day. And he knew I wanted to see you. So he was like, let's just go to Atlanta and see Ashley. No, I didn't. When you come to Atlanta, I don't want Omar to be there. Sorry. Well, I'm not know. driving to Atlanta. I, how many times have I drove here? You see how much your dad, dad is here? It doesn't her matter. Is here. It you doesn't would not matter. come see me had your mom not been living Girl, here. Girl, what your mom was living with me? Oh, hell no. You mean when my mom was living with me and Mr. Rogers? How many times did I come back to Virginia and I see Jasmine and Alana? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? My mom just moved here. My freaking. When my mom, when my family first got divorced, none of my family lived in Virginia and I still kept coming back here. At least twice a year. Yeah, and when you first started coming back, you didn't even hit me up, y'all. She left, and then when she started coming back, I found out, what, through the grapevine. <laughs> Who knows how I found out. I found out some way. And I didn't she was making business and didn't even time. tell me. And I was like... But yeah, even okay. after that, like, from, from 13, I mean, from like 15 or whatever, or 16, I've been coming back before my mom moved back here and I would just stay at Jasmine house and I would see you I will always come at you. you don't never come on there the only time she came on there was once during my graduation yeah you didn't really even appreciate that like, I was I but my came. whole graduation was a freaking train wreck oh my gosh can we talk about that no okay <laughs> actually I should do a story time on that that would be really interesting and I can give it from my perspective okay yeah we will do that we'll do that okay, okay. okay. my thing is yeah so I always come here and you would never come there then when i get here she act like she's too damn busy then on top of that let's not add you just moved away from school you, you used to be here all the time with omar so i would come and she act like she'd be with omar seven days a week but can't be with me one day a week that's a lie and you know i'm the reason that's a lie i'm trying to get the kind of hold on did you Yes, because he was here at my mama pool party, and I kept she saying, did not put together. And I kept we saying, talking. she kept denying that she liked him, and I kept saying, like, you like <laughs> That's him. a lie. Yeah. That's a lie. No, because literally, like, okay, I remember you were kind of smooth in the beginning when we went to Top Golf. She was oh, yeah. like, <laughs> was that? Who were we going to Top Golf with? Me, you said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what year was, was that? Like, I don't know. That was like three years ago. <laughs> no, because I felt like I was like on my like doing me stage. You were doing that wasn't three years. <laughs> okay, but the bottom line is, oh my gosh. what do you guys think? Like, what did your advice? Comment below because I think from here on out, because to me, like I was saying, I do a lot more when it comes to like making sure I see everybody, and not just with charity. This was like with all my friends. Like when, like when I'm not flying for work, I'll fly to Atlanta and I make sure I see all my nieces and all my friends and stuff. And I do a good job of maintaining all my friendships. And I have receipts to prove it. So, meaning, like, I've been having friends from years and years and years because I do a good job of And I balance who I need to see in my dating life. Which y'all don't need to see that. We need to hear about that. that. No. no. Y'all ain't gonna know about my dating life until 2021, probably. <laughs> y'all follow, no, follow my blog. I ain't taking no Ashley's face. like, Wait, do you still use your blog? <laughs> no, not really. Um, okay. But yeah, so we can agree that you're going to do more. And we can agree that you're going to be less of a brat and be considerate of the fact that whenever I come here, it's typically for only a few days and I have to be balanced with my family, with Omar, and with you, and with my other friends. So what was the excuse before then when you was living up the street? Because this was the same thing. We're talking about the present. Like, that don't, like, that don't even make sense. I was at your house all the time, though. Like, literally, I should be, like, spending the night in my house and I'd be like, all right. 
Okay. Yeah. The only time I ever was like, no, is if my dad's like, he's always. But I'm like, used to all my friends spending the night at my house. Yeah, like, and I would do that. That's just how it is. The only time I ever would be like, no, because my dad's a merchant seaman. So if he's deployed and then he just so happens to be back in town, like, I'm not going to keep leaving my house when I'm supposed to be chilling with him. So, if he was back in town, I'd be like, mm, no, spending the night with my dad or whatever. But for the most part, I stayed at Ashley House. And speaking of receipts, go look at her old YouTube videos because guess what? I'm in like a lot of them. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Like, what's the perfect way of balancing friends and relationships? Because I don't never ditch you for a boy or try to kill two birds in one stone and have y'all here at the same time. <laughs> but we smart. already have plans to do videos. <laughs> Okay, I never did. And okay. then a lot of the times you'll come over here and you'll be caking on the phone the entire time. You don't see me I'm on, on the FaceTime. Right now. And I want to FaceTime right now. Actually, I'm in the mood to FaceTime. I'm on FaceTime right now. <laughs> and you do sometimes. <laughs> Only if you start. I don't know what you're talking about. Or if I used to FaceTime when it would be with Corey, I, would, I used to integrate you. But is that wrong though? She just said it's wrong for me to try to kill two birds with one stone. No, that's not wrong. But that's but a good strategy. In every, I'm trying. No, every situation you try to do that. It don't make sense to do that when you're going to see him tomorrow and the next day. Like you here for it's a weekend, whole break. Though. It's just, I'm not here for the whole break. I'm here for the weekend. Okay, what? So you going back to school Monday? I'm going back because I have to work. Since when? I have to. I mean, rent still do. I, I gotta go work. I thought you said you was here for break. I'm here for this weekend, and then I'm going back to work for a week, and then I'm coming back the, that weekend. Plus, I can't be at my house for too long because, you know, and we need space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, my gosh. Facts. I don't want to see how y'all cry so much when you just in your room the entire time. I'm not in my room the entire time. My oh, mom, she's always, she always needs stuff. No, she always be like, Charity, Charity, do this, do that. Like, oh, girl. my mama don't need that. Yeah, your mom chill. That's why I'll be over here. <laughs> She literally does not bother me. Yeah. Okay, but that's it for this video. You tell us what y'all think. We'll be back. The girl.